I, I kind of laugh because I've been surfing since I was nine years old. But the thing with the internet trolls is there's no one that's safe. And you have to be able to surf to do this job because it's part of understanding what we're scoring. If you didn't surf and you didn't surf well, you can't comprehend what the guys are doing. Yeah, I mean, I don't really read any of that stuff and, and the comments and stuff. Oh, it's uh, probably most they, they don't know us, you know, and uh, not, nothing to, to blame because once you, you, you know us and you, you see us in the water, some people probably still think that we can surf, but I know that people that know me don't think that, so I'm fine. Even sometimes though, you see like the, how the waves look on the internet, that if you're there live at the beach, they look totally different, you know, so it's different angles, you know, so we have like, you know, five or six cameras filming at all time. I don't, it doesn't bother me in the slightest because the people that I know and know me, know what I'm about and who I am and, and you can't please and I never have intended to please everyone and that's not my job if I didn't have a thick skin you couldn't do this job because we're the we've got the biggest target on our back as far as the internet trolls I feel like a lot of the, the Facebook world things were just old dudes that don't surf um, just have like weird goggles on and sit in those old school towers more so than me these days, and my fellow judges and the commentators, and I think it's that's worse because they're just talking about stuff. They're not making decisions, but yet you read the comments about all those crew that do our commentary. It's it's cruel, and it's you, you, you wouldn't want to read some of them because they are ruthless. Those people out there. I just I just don't get that. I'm not that sort of person that would say that. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm not sure if, if they're surfers at all, that do some of the harsh comments, but everyone's got their own opinion in a way. But it's definitely entertaining reading. I guess these people are the not nice people, and whether they do it for what sort of pleasure they get out of it or self-promotion, some of them maybe, I don't know, like some of them become semi-famous from their comments, but they're still faceless, right? So big deal you're you're that's you you're so and so but no one knows who you are so but we we don't care what happens after the waves being ridden because the waves done there's a big percentage of waves are claimed if you're gonna let that kind of influence you you shouldn't be judging huh. yeah it's waiting for this question uh, no never <laughs> <laughs> I saw a really good one once years ago where a guy uh, claimed a wave and in his interview he said, oh, I didn't want to claim it because it often thought that if they claim it and it's not so good, they take points off. <laughs> so he thought that it was the reverse. No, absolutely not. Half the time, I think it's just like the surfers saying to themselves, yes, like I got the score. Or, um, it's, it's those ones that I can understand, or the, or the really, the really uh, excellent ways that I that I can understand. No, it's like uh, we we don't care if you claim or not. You know, it's for us. We, of course, we see it happening, but it really doesn't doesn't matter. It's the ones that it's the ones that the surfers know that they probably didn't get the score, but they still claim. Those ones. Are, um, it's, it's not so bad for us, it's, it's maybe for them. We're not that stupid. We seriously are not that stupid. To think a guy's gone like that, that means we're going to give him the score because he's told, he sold it to us. It's like, are you kidding me? Really, people? Get a grip. <laughs>